I have here is a PLC setup that I put together. And my intent here was to create something that I could use in an instructional situation. That might be for some beginners in the industrial sector. It could be for college students, high school students, middle school students, and I also believe even appropriate for elementary students. You can certainly create some very basic things associated with PLCs that elementary students can understand and work with. So I was looking to create something low cost and compact, and this is what I came up with. This is something that I bought the pieces to, configured, put together, wired, and uh, got to work. What I have is an extruded aluminum plate, and to that I have attached a outlet strip, and that outlet strip has connected to it the cable power plug going to the PLC power supply. It also has the large power adapter that is powering the the peripheral devices connected to my input and output modules. I have the PLC itself attached to a DIN rail and that PLC is from Automation Direct. I chose to go with Automation Direct primarily as I said in my beginning to try to keep the cost low. The Allen Bradley and Siemens PLCs are more expensive and the software from those companies is also very expensive. With Automation Direct, their components are less expensive, still industrial components, but their software is completely free. That also, in my situation, is a plus because I can then assign assignments to my students that they can complete outside of class. So with this PLC, I have on the far left the power supply module. So in is coming my AC power, and out of it is coming the 24 volt DC to power the processor module. So immediately to the right of the power supply module is the CPU, the processor. And this one's a little bit special. It does contain some I.O., some inputs and some outputs. It also contains the programming cable. And that cable terminates with a standard DB9 RS-232 connector. But in case, as most computers do, they no longer have that, I've simply used an adapter, a RS-232 to USB adapter. So I can plug right into any USB port and be used to program this PLC. To the right, then, I have my four I.O. modules, two input and two output. And those I wired specifically for my application, my intent. And what that was is these three DB15 connectors. The reason I chose to go this route is because I have the Festo Mech Labs and those Mech Labs use a DB15 interface cable. So this particular configuration would allow me to control up to three of those, either individually or simultaneously. Each of those DB15 connectors has six inputs and six outputs and their addresses are labeled on each of those connectors. I also have made a programming panel, an operator's panel, that connects to this using DB15. In a later video, I'll show that to you as well as show you this PLC controlling those mech labs. So overall, it, this is relatively compact. The footprint is such that it'll fit into a Festo sustainer, so very easy to transport. So for training in other locations, uh, workshops, conferences. This is very easy to take along and use as a demonstration piece. If you like these kinds of videos, like the kind of work that I'm doing, please subscribe. I would certainly appreciate it. And again, thank you very much.